we met in London and it was probably like two years ago now and he was so sweet and kind and just sort of explained the whole story to me um, and then I read the script and then yeah and now two years later we're finally shooting it so I think I would have I you know I wanted to do it before I'd even really read the script <laughs> each of his films are like a really interesting little study of a particular world um, and he's really good at creating like a reality and bringing characters into a particular space that creates something really unique He's great. He's most like a really calm person and very sensitive to allowing us the freedom as actors to do or go where you know where it feels natural and where it's comfortable. And um, so we get a lot of freedom in that. And every morning we have an hour of rehearsals just to block that that scene that we're shooting that day. So yeah, I think he tries to keep it as simple as possible. Um, he doesn't do like a whole lot of coverage. It's just sort of the minimal possible coverage. It's more about the space between the actors and around the actors, which I think is really nice, uh, particularly for this film when there's so many kind of uh, um, conflicting personalities in those characters. When he first told me about Ava, he said she's like the younger sister of, of Tilda's character, um, Eve, and she's sort of like bratty. Um, uh, I don't know, she just sort of like comes in and, and sort of messes everything up for them and then leaves uh, constantly. <laughs> I think she always just sort of shows up at, at you know, a random time and sort of wreaks havoc and then leaves. Um, so that immediately excited me because I hadn't, I have, I, I don't know, I'm just so excited to play a character that is slightly more extroverted and, and she has been a lot of fun to play just for, um, cause I get to come in and, and basically just annoy Tom and, and, um, and Tilda and, and just, yeah, wreak a bit, a bit of havoc and then leave. Three of them are sort of like their own strange vampire family. They're almost like animals. Um, and I think that that was sort of the best piece of information for me from Jim and from, you know, that everybody was working at the same time, that they're sort of more wild and more like animals. And, um, and that was, that's useful for me, for Ava. And I think Ava's sort of like a lion cub or something. She's just sort of wants to play and, I don't know, have fun and, and react to things as she naturally would and, and trying not to eat people is probably like telling a little lion cub not to eat meat or something. So, <laughs> so that's sort of how I thought about the vampire element of her character. Adam and Eve have established their own set of morals and their own way of life. I think, you know, just any family, vampire or not, has this similar problem of, um, uh, you know, differences. And uh, I think that, yeah, in, in our story, vampires have evolved to the place where they, um, you know, they have a code or moral code that they abide by, um, which is um, stealing blood rather than killing people. And, and Ava just sort of hasn't quite adjusted to that. And I don't think that she quite has the resources to be able to do that. She's still in such a um, young headspace of, uh, it's hard enough for her just sort of like traveling on her own and, and um, let alone having to be like, organized enough to think far in advance and you know find a way to get blood and it's easier for Adam and Eve in their relationship and with each other and I think Ava's like sort of excluded from that and, and is very on her own in that way and it makes it harder, it harder for her to abide by their moral code. Music is the 
form of art that film is closest to because a good film has is sort of like a good piece of music. And yeah, in terms of my own dance, I definitely use it, yeah. Even in ways I don't think I know because I trained for a long time. I think cinema is sort of everything. It covers all sort of the range of emotions and um, aspects of human existence and life. Um, that's sort of why I like it. It can be entertainment or it can be art or it can be drama or comedy or, yeah, adventure. I don't know, it's sort of like the greatest escape <laughs> watching a film. Um, and it's sort of the most powerful um, for, for evoking feelings and understanding and empathy. It's sort of the most powerful form of, of art, I guess. So that's why I, I like it.